Hey guys, it's Josh. Today I'm working on this Massey Ferguson 180 with the four cylinder Perkins diesel. And uh, before I go ahead and throw it back together, thought I'd show you how to check the injection pump timing and uh, the location of the timing plug on the side of the block here. I'm, this tractor smokes but I wanted to check the timing on the ejection pump before I went ahead and ordered the injectors on it. So I'll show you what I got going on. All right, guys, show you the side of the Massey here. First off, show you the timing plug location. It's right here on the rear of the block. It's a 9 16 I didn't have the right socket for it, so I just made this tool real quick. I remove that and then that gives you access to the rear of the flywheel so you can find your timing marks. The next thing you're going to have to do, you're going to have to remove the cover from the side of the injection pump. Because you can see in there there's letters A, B, C, D, etc. And then when timing this pump, you can see a line on the injection pump itself. You can see a line on the housing that's lined up. These holes here are slotted, so there is a little bit of adjustment in the pump. I got right here, if you can see in there, that's a C. And then there's a line and there's a clip inside the injection pump. That, lo that line, uh, on the C is just about perfect. See how it lines up on the clip there. And then you go inside and see the back of the flywheel. Let's see if I can get a picture of the timing marks. It's gonna say 23 degrees before top dead center. And you're gonna see the timing mark on the rear of the engine. You can see the timing mark on the rear of the engine. You can see the line just barely. Uh, it shows up pretty good. And then right above the line, try to focus in on that. It is stamped BT before top dead center. And then, yeah, it's right in there. So this, that line has to be lined up there. This line has to be lined up with the bottom of the clip. And then the pump has to be, should be lined up with that line. I'm not sure if some of the Masseys, they have a frame rail. It's gonna hinder the access a little bit to that plug. I don't think it really be too big of a deal. You just want all three lined up. So I'm finding that timing mark on the flywheel is kind of a pain. I just shut the injection pump off. There's no fuel in it anyways. And I bump the starter over until I get close. It's gonna take you a couple of revolutions to find out which stroke is number one. It won't line up if it's not a number one, the, the two, the 23 degrees and the C. So you're gonna have to bump the starter, get it close, and then you can walk the flywheel with a screwdriver and get it exactly where it needs to be. I just want to throw this video up there because regarding this timing plug and Basically, the timing in general, I couldn't really find anything on the internet, so I thought I'd share. Hopefully, it helps somebody else out there. Well, that's basically it for this video. I just wanted to show you how to line things up. It's not too big of a deal. And then everything's where it needs to be. I'm going to go ahead and get a set of injectors ordered. And then go ahead and replace them. Maybe stop the smoking. It... 
it's smoked, one of the injectors isn't right then because it smells like raw diesel, not the normal smoking tired engine. So hopefully we'll get lucky. The injectors will take care of that. And we go ahead and fix some other things on here. Maybe do a few more videos if there's any interest. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. And we'll work on something else here. You know, we'll, we'll get to it eventually. So.